Now before we can use the directions API, we need to make sure that we have one more dependency. Uh, this is the Google, this is the page that you want to visit to. This, this, this is the page that you're going to want to visit. GitHub.com, Google Maps, Google Maps Services, uh, dash Java. And if you scroll down, we want to find uh, down here in the installation section. So if we're doing it the Gradle way, which is the way that I'm going to show you, this is the dependency that you want to grab. So I'm going to copy that, go to Android Studio, go to the build.gradle app file, and then scroll down and I'm going to put it down here. So we're, put, we're pasting that in and we need to, you can see here it's telling us that we need to insert the latest version. Uh, that's actually very important. If you don't use the latest version, it uh, might not work. I had I had an older version in there from the test version and it wouldn't work at all. So very important that you get the most recent version. And you can go right here uh, in the searching Maven Central link to get the most recent version. So we want 0 0.2.11. So 0 0.2.11. That's what we want. And then we want to hit sync. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need to change compile to implementation. Sync that. And if you saw on the GitHub page also, it, it's going to say uh, you need to make sure you have Maven Central. But I believe all Android projects come default with it now um, through the Google repository right here. So you probably don't need to worry about that. But if you have a problem, uh, just type Maven Central like that and try that. But uh, I think you should be good if you have the Google repository. So that's sync, that looks good. Uh, now before we move forward, we want to test and make sure everything is working. So I'm gonna go into our UI. You can just open up any activity, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna try and create an object. Uh, so you won't be able to create this object if the dependency isn't working properly. So you want a geo API context object. If you're able to create that object, you know that you have the dependency and you're ready to go. In the next video, we're gonna work on actually finally making our first request to the directions API and getting some directions.